Wayne, what was the most frustrating part of the last uh, eight or ten minutes there? That we came up two points short. About it. Came up short. How did you feel about your guys' execution on that the last possession there? Uh, I'll have to watch it on film. <laughs> Um, that was uh, caught me off guard there, but we tried to run a little screen the screener and get the action with only 1.4 at the rim, and obviously we didn't get a chance. They blew the whistle and they got the ball. Was the call a moving violation? What was the explanation? Said on? said that he yeah he traveled, moved his feet, he can't move on the spot. So, and that hey that's a great crew. Those are experienced guys. I haven't seen it, so um, you know we'll have to take a look. Did Ethan indicate whether he thought he had moved? He said he didn't. Not? But that's what he's going to say. I'll take the blame. I mean, we maybe should have put a little more experienced guy there. But we were trying. We weren't very big, and we knew we had to get something. Probably going to the basket. We knew they were going to switch. That's why we had Trace a little screen the screen interaction, and then Al coming back towards the ball. Um, but you know they they um, they got they got the break. So many runs back and forth in the game. You know, particularly starting with the small lineup with Drew going to the bench. You guys were able to make a run. What did you think? of that small lineup and how you're able to execute against their size? Well, it, it was not necessarily just a small lineup, but it was a, a lineup that was playing with the most heart. I mean, fighting post touches, uh, pressuring the ball, guarding the pick and rolls better than we were when we were bigger. So uh, credit to those guys that got after it and played with the intensity that we were looking for. Just for all three of you coming off the first Pac-12 weekend, going to face the Ducks next, what did you feel like you guys learned about yourselves as a team? Uh, I think uh, the biggest thing is we have to come out at the beginning of the game with more intensity. And uh, uh, even though we didn't come out with the outcome that we wanted, um, we, we battled at the, towards the end there. And uh, we, we just have to put that together for 40 minutes with the same attitude, same spirit. Uh, yeah, I think Stevie hit it right on the head. Um, you know, we show that we're capable of doing it. Um, battle from down six to go up six. Um, again, just got to finish games and make plays. Uh, we had some missed opportunities, but I mean, we just got to come out more aggressive and, you know, deliver the first punch instead of, you know, react. Yeah, we, we, had, we had the wrong approach. Um, it was a little bit of our con a concern. How could we handle the success from the other night with this young group? And I thought on the perimeter, we came out really, really soft. They were hitting threes, driving by us. Um, and yeah, obviously, you hit 10 threes. I mean, it's probably a school record and a half. And, and only a couple of them were against zone. And it was because we didn't follow our rules. Um, so we challenged the guys at halftime to get tougher. Um, and we found a group that did. But uh, we were a little bit behind the eight ball. But we still came back. We took a lead. And then it just, boy, our guys fought hard. And it just seemed like every break went their way. And give them credit, you know, for, for showing some maturity there when maybe we lacked some at times. But, uh, Felt for our guys. We had plenty of opportunities. I mean, we missed wide open threes. We missed shots right at the rim. We got a big steal at half court or just right before half court. Uh, didn't convert. Um, proud of our guys. And it's something that we've, we, you know, I said, we, we're not going to get breaks yet. We got to get back to where we earn those. And uh, we better get a chip on our shoulder because that's obviously the way, the, way, the way things played out. And so we need to know that, you know, ne next time out, we got to go out there and earn our own breaks like Utah did tonight. Yeah, down the, the last few 20 seconds, you had some inside misses and some outside three misses. When you were setting up to start that whole exchange, did you want to go for two in the time? <coughs> yeah, we had plenty of time. It was a two-point two two point, two point game. So, you know, in those situations, you know, you, you've got to look to attack the rim. Uh, like we did a couple possessions before, Trace found Al for a layup. And, and then if that closes off, you got a chance to score it yourself or draw and kick. And we found Al wide open in the corner. Um, I thought we showed really good patience. Zach once, he had a three kind of in front of the bench and shot faked and I think we went and made a play and then uh, Trace had one as well when he found out. He could have shot it, pump faked, got to the rim. Um, we just, man, I mean the three was wide open, the tip in I thought was going in. You know, the guy scrapped, we got the ball out of bounds uh, and then just, um, just didn't go in our favor. Stevie, coach talked about it a little bit there, but how do you feel like your team match the physicality that, that Utah likes to play with? Um, I think uh, we did a better job of it in the second half. Um, uh, what, we, we really didn't do a good job of it in the first half, uh, but I think we responded well at halftime. And um, like Coach said, we got behind the eight ball, and uh, we were able to come back from it. But uh, we, we had some lapses in the second half, so we just have to put it together.
Stevie and Trace, before the inbounds violation, I know you, you had a look from three after Alfred missed, and Stevie, you had, I think, a, a put-back attempt. Do you, what do you remember just from that sequence when everything was kind of scrambling? Oh, yeah, I just remember um, Zach gave us an, an extra possession, tipped it out to me, shot it, didn't go in. Um, you know, then we missed another one at the rim. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I just tried to uh, tip the tip the shot in off the the three and uh, probably probably rush it a little bit, um, but uh, just just didn't drop bounce around the rim a few times, but just unfortunate. When uh, you talked about the need for depth after Friday and got big contributions from Seth, from Ronnie, and Alfred, a couple of different guys, was that the, maybe the biggest positive takeaway from today? Yeah, that 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 and the heart we showed playing through all we had to play through in that second half, especially the last ten minutes. Um, but yeah. Um, it was great. Even Ben's physicality, he's still not close to 100%. Gets in there and mixes it up. Seth, probably his best game, um, you know, as a beeve. And then, you know, Ronnie hitting a couple of jumpers for us. And we told him after, we got, he's got to play. I love his physicality, but <coughs> he gets in a little bit of foul trouble. And we, we need to have him. You know, but to, to have this kind of weekend and we're short Kendall and short Big G, Big G really would have helped tonight with his physicality. Um, our guys showed a lot of grit, you know, and, and that's what we love. We're making progress. We're, we're getting gritty. Again, we, we can't complain. We had opportunities to win this game and uh, in that last minute, and we just, just didn't make the plays. But we, if we stay together, continue to take coaching, we'll learn and grow and we'll be better uh, for this down the road. What was the message to Drew with him being so limited and fouling out? You know, just Drew, Drew's got to be able to, you know, he's a junior now, just keep his head in the game. And, uh, you know, we, we've been talking to him a lot about when he hedges ball screens, he can't reach. And you got a cheap foul there. Um, I think one uh, on, on, on the charge, he, he, at the end of the half, we got to use angles. You got to go away from the defender. You can't go through the chest anymore. Um, you know, and it, it, it was frustrating because I thought we, had, we took a couple of charges and there were no calls, and they took a few on us. We'll have to watch the tape. But the big thing is Drew's got to stay in the game mentally. Um, you know, and, and he almost got a third foul at the end of the first half. And so we talked to him at halftime, you know, about staying focused and locked in and things that he's got to avoid. And, you know, we, we, we talked quickly as a staff at the seven minute mark. Do we come back with him that early with four? And the first possession, he gets his, his fifth foul in the post when we're not supposed to let the guy go middle. He goes middle and turn the corner. So he'll, he'll learn from that, Drew. Drew Played so well defensively. Um, we got to get him back to where he's fighting the touch and keeping it out of the post. That will help keep, keep you out of foul trouble. Um, so I know he'll bounce back and, and be ready to go next time out for sure. Thanks, guys. Go Beavs.